And this project is going to be some corrosion testing. Uh, I just finished this knife. It's 1095 carbon steel. I kind of grew up using oils, uh, gun oil, maybe household oil, WD-40, those kind of things on carbon steel. And um, the more I keep reading about everybody using wax, different kinds of waxes, and uh, I've asked some of the pros uh, on some of the forums I'm on, and wax seems to be the way to go, but I'm kind of a hard-headed type, and I like to see things for myself, so I've got a lot of blanks here. I'm going to do my own corrosion test. Okay, here's some of the things I think I want to test. Uh, first, what I'm hearing the most about is this stuff, Renaissance Wax. It's, man, a lot of people are really swearing by it. It's kind of expensive. It's um, about $16 for this uh, little bitty can. One of the pros on the on uh, Knife Dogs forum said he uses, uh, I think he uses the paste version, but Mother's Brazilian Carnuba Cleaner Wax. He said he's had good results with that. This is uh, about $8 for a pretty good size bottle. And we all have WD-40. Uh, most people have some sort of household oil. If you're a gun guy at all, you're probably familiar with uh, rim oil. And there's one other I'm gonna to try to, uh, just regular unscented mineral oil. Another guy on uh, Knife Dog suggested, uh, or he, I think he makes Japanese swords and he says I use mineral oil. Okay, my test is gonna be on some uh, laser cut blanks. This is um, an early prototype of a survival knife that I make. It's a kind of a test knife and uh, this is the one I've used for, I've pounded and stabbed and I've got one side is, um, Birchwood Casey Gun Blue. One side is a homemade parkerized um, top coating. And this is kind of, I do a lot of testing with this one. This one was actually 01, but the uh, these other blanks are 1095. And I, I'm going to kind of group this into um, two, three categories. These first two, I'm going to put Ren Wax on one and the Mother's Carnuba Wax on one. So this would be kind of a wax comparison. The next group is going to be what I think a lot, most people is going to have at home. This would be like an oil group. I'm going to put mineral oil on one, rim oil on one, three in one oil, and WD-40. Kind of an oil comparison in that group. And then, I, I, a lot of my knives are finished with, uh, like I said, the Birchwood Casey gun blowing. I, I don't really do the Parkerize finish anymore. It takes too long. And uh, I can't really see that it's worth the time it's invested in it. But I'm gonna kind of narrow it down. I wanna see how a blued blade reacts with uh, wax and oil. So I just picked uh, Ren Wax and Rim Oil as the two I'm gonna compare for a wax versus oil on a blued finish. I also do some of my knives with uh, acid, the ferric chloride. Same thing, I wanna compare a waxed ferric chloride and a oil ferric chloride and I'm going to have one untreated knife that'll be my control but for right now I think that's going to be a pretty good comparison it'll let me get you know decide which of these two waxes are the best which of the oils are the best and then how they react to uh, different kind of surface treatments I think I'm going to uh, abrasive just put all these in my abrasive blaster I use a, uh, a black oxide type uh, blasting media. I think I'm going to give them all the exact same blasted finish as a baseline to start with. Okay, I've got them all pinned onto, a, I guess, some little panel nails just so they don't move around. I got them all put on a old scrap piece of 2x12 and I got a section to test waxes, oils, blued, and uh, acid finishes, and then the one on the right I will leave uh, with nothing on it, just as a example of unprotected 1095.
On these two ferric chlorides, I'm gonna hit them with a heat gun real quick just to make sure they're completely dry, no moisture trapped in them before I start applying coatings. Now for the oil part of this test, um, as a maker, I usually, um, if I'm using oil, I go ahead and soak it down with oil real good and let it set for, you know, sometimes overnight, just really heavy with oil, then wipe off the excess in the morning. So I think I'm gonna do kind of the same thing. This is uh, the mineral oil, just, I, I use it for uh, woodworking sometime for items that's gonna be in the kitchen. I'm just going to put it on heavy. Just let make sure it's soaked in for good for a while. Same thing with the three in one. I'll just put it on heavy, let it soak in. The uh, rim oil and the WD-40 will be easy. You can just spray those on. All right, they're all dripping wet. A heavy, heavy coat of oil. I'll let them soak until tomorrow and I'll wipe off the excess in the morning. This is the Rin Wax and the Ferret Chloride coated blade. And to be fair on the waxes, again as a maker, I'm going to put I'm going to put more than one coat on before I ship something out. So I'm going to uh, put a coat on, let it dry, buff it, put a coat on, let it dry, buff it. I'm probably going to put three different coats of both of the waxes. That way I know it's got a really good base coat of wax on there. I'm not gonna put it on thin, thick, just three thin coats. And now Ren wax, Ren wax for the, um, just the blasted steel finish. Makes a pretty big difference on the look right off, doesn't it? And the other wax I'm going to test is Mother's Brazilian Carnauba, Carnauba, I'm not sure how you say that. Recommended to me uh, by a pro maker. I won't use his name because he may not want to be associated with an amateur like me, but um, I'm going to try it. And same thing, I'm going to do uh, three coats of it as well. I use Birchwood Casey Super Blue, and I usually wash my uh, knives in hot soapy water before I put it on. Follow the instructions, you let it set for a little while and rinse and repeat. All right, I've decided to set my corrosion test up in my backyard. Um, it's going to be in the shade under cover of trees here. I've got a picnic table out in the backyard. I'm going to leave it set up. It's on a, um, I'm going to keep it on a little bit of an incline. That way, no water can be pooled on there if it does rain or you know, heavy do it, it can drain off. And um, I'm going to try to take a picture of it every day from the same perspective and we'll stitch them all together. All right, here we go. This is day one. Um, I'll try to take a shot like this every day. And then um, if, you know, any of them start showing a particular rust that doesn't show up well, I'll maybe do a closer shot of them. Today's 11 days. Um, I'm kind of surprised so far. I really thought there'd be more rust showing on these. Uh, the Just the untreated one, and I'm trying real hard not to touch them anywhere that's, that's going to show, but 
it's actually not that bad yet it's got some spots showing on it so you think about it, if the the one that has nothing on it is not even been affected too bad then uh, obviously the rest of them are probably holding up pretty good I don't know between the bugs and birds and squirrels and everything else a couple of them appear to have uh, little spots on them but I almost think they're just dirty they're just from junk falling out of the trees and I had picked bird feathers off of them once already so the uh, two wax ones I don't see anything on either one of those there's a couple little specks here and there that I, I they almost look like dirt but I don't want to touch it and brush it off I'm afraid I would affect the test the two blued ones look look really good there's one little spot right there that might be kind of a start of some rust and the two ferric chlorides they uh, they look really clean I don't see nothing on them it's amazing I can leave a knife sitting on my bench in my shop for a couple of days and it'll rust these have been outside this is 11 days and they all look pretty dang good Okay, today we've had scattered showers. This probably came through about three different times in rain today. It's getting in the evening now. And uh, now they're starting to show some differences now that it's rained a little. Let me zoom in on some of these. The first one there is uh, Ren Wax. Second one is the mother's Brazilian Carnuba, Carnaroba. Still not sure how you say that. And I've noticed the uh, Ren wax, it is beading on it, but there's starting to be two or three little specks of rust in there. The second one here is uh, the mother's, the automotive wax, and it seems to let the water kind of sheet off. It's not beading, but there are a lot of little speckled uh, rust spots showing in there. I'll zoom in and see if you can see it on there. See that? And it's starting to show some. And now on the oils, um, the first one there is mineral oil, and it's got a lot of rust on it. The three and three and one oil is actually the second one is doing better than I thought. I don't really see too much going on on it. Third one is rim oil. I had higher hopes for and the one on the right is WD-40. So just based off of today in the rain, mineral oil, three in one, rim oil and WD-40. The WD-40 and the three in one seem to be doing way better. So all my uh, blued pieces, they actually, the one on the left is uh, Ren Wax, the one on the right is Rim Oil. I don't see any rust on those at all. They look good. The uh, next two are the same thing, Ren Wax on the left, uh, Rim Oil on the right. But these, the only difference in these, these were ferric chloride, dipped in ferric chloride first. And it's kind of like the other ones. There are some spots showing on those. The uh, Ren wax on right here, it looks pretty good. There's a couple little spots showing, and the the rim oil, it's got some spots showing on it. Then of course the last one is the uh, untreated steel, for comparison, and it's getting to show quite a bit now. So a little bit of rain has changed things today. It's kind of interesting. Okay, this test has been underway for 21 days. The uh, first. 11 or 12 it was just normal kind of early summer weather uh, due every night but no rain and then the last few days this became monsoon season here it's rained off and on every day or so every couple of days and there's another big round of rain coming in the next two or three days so i think i'm gonna go ahead and end the test here i think i can see what i need to so let's review what i've got here so far the first two here 
This is uh, the one on the bottom. You can see the labels there. Ren wax and the mother's Brazilian. I'm not seeing a gigantic difference there. The Ren wax is slightly better. I don't think it's enough. I don't think it's better to the point it's worth worth the money, maybe. Um, the only thing nice about it is I guess you can use it on your leather and some other stuff, so maybe it's a little more versatile than the mothers, but performance wise, as just on a strictly on a rust basis, I don't know guys, I'm not seeing it. The uh, next group was my oil test. Uh, this one, mineral oil, I would say is a complete failure. Uh, no way. 3-in-1 oil. Yeah, it won't focus. Guys, that's pretty dang good. That's probably the cheapest oil I have out of the four. Barely any rust. The rim oil, I'd say is just as bad as the mineral oil. I'd say a complete failure. WD-40 is better than the rim oil or the mineral oil, but it's still not quite as good as the 3-in-1 oil. Mineral oil, 3-in-1, rim oil, WD-40. The next group I had was uh, blued. This one's um, Renaissance wax, and this one was rim oil. Again, the uh, wax I'm not overly impressed with. You can see there, it's the one on the bottom. Considerable amount of rust on it. In fact, the uh, rim oil, I would say did better than the wax on a blued finish. Wax, rim oil. My ferric chloride dip knives, same thing. The one on the bottom is, I got a cat bothering me now. The one on the bottom is Ren Wax. It looks pretty good actually, for some reason on that one. And Rim Oil, again, not too bad on the uh, oxide top finish. It's got some on there, but not too bad. And then lastly was the one that uh, totally untreated. It's got a nice even coat on it. I guess what kind of surprises me is that totally untreated Looks a whole lot like rim oil and mineral oil. One thing about this test that has is, is surprised me is on my survival knives, I've been sending them out the blued finish and three in one household oil. I soak them in three in one the night before, wipe off the excess, you know, wrap my cord handles and that's it. And I really feel justified, maybe just by pure luck, but the three-in-1 is by far better than anything else on the board. And I'm going to say the blued finishes or even the ferric chloride finishes make a pretty big difference. So I don't know, guys. I'm blown away. I, I'm not impressed with the wax. Uh, it may have some advantages as far as not collecting dirt, but as far as purely in a corrosion sense, I, I'm not impressed. I did want to say a little about the test. Um, I, may, I may not have explained earlier. These uh, blanks were all laser cut from the same sheet of 1095 from the New Jersey Steel Baron. They were all, I put all of these in a stainless steel foil pouch. They were all annealed together at the same time in the oven. They were all uh, abrasive blast and treated all the same night so they're, they're I tried to do them as good of a comparison as I could they are not hardened I wonder how this test would be if you had this many hardened uh, blanks up here it may be a little different but I'm gonna say that the test would still be uh, I don't think the results would change that much I think the abrasive finish gave them the uh, best chance for 
success, you know, that, that rough surface allows it to hold the wax and the oil. So I, I, I feel it's a pretty good test, you know, open to opinions, but it's the best I could come up with, you know, the best way I could think to do it. So I'm, cur I'm curious to see what people think.